it's Turbo David, the GoXLR guru. The new app update for the GoXLR app is finally here after a long, long time. I'm going to show you some of the best features of the new application. So let's get to it. So the three or four items I'm going to go over today are game changers for the GoXLR app. Well, maybe two of them are, but they've been asked for for a long time. The first one is minimize on startup. All we heard on the discord was people saying, we want to be able to minimize on startup. We want to be able to minimize startup. Well, it's here. If you go to the system tab and to global settings, you now have an option to minimize application on startup. This will minimize the application when your computer boots. And if you want to open up the application, you can simply go to your taskbar, right click on the application and open it from there. Are you happy now? It's there. The second item, which personally I think is a huge quality of life and a huge upgrade for the device is the option to toggle cough. So previously, the mute button on the Go XLR would only momentarily mute your mic as in a cough button. So you press the button. If you're coughing, you let go. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. The problem is that previously, the you needed to have a mic fader on the Go XLR to use the mute modes. The fader should have always been at 100% because that's how the Go XLR works. You should never have the mic fader at anything else other than 100%. So it's kind of a waste of a fader, to be perfectly honest. So what they've done in this update is they've had the ability now to make the cough button a toggle. Now all that means is that when you hit the button, it'll toggle the mic mute mode that you have selected. So if you have mute to all, you hit the button and it'll mute all your, your mic sources. If you are using a mute mode, such as mute to stream or mute to phones, etc., if you hit the mute button, it'll mute to that source. If you hold the mute button, it would then mute the microphone to all sources, just as it would work if it was on a fader. What this does is it allows you to free up a fader. So we hear a lot on the discord saying, I wish I had another fader. I wish I had another fader. Well, with this change, you can get that. So as you can see here, I have music, chat, game, and system as my four faders. I don't have mic anymore because don't need it. It's set to 100% in the mixer tab. It should stay that way. And if I need to mute my microphone, I can just go ahead and hit off button. Another fun tip is if you still want to have the push functionality and don't want to have to toggle bits of back between toggle and hold, here's a quick tip. If you go into your mixer tab, and you don't use your bleep button on a regular basis, you can actually lower the bleep to zero. And now the bleep button will act as a momentary mute button for you. Pretty awesome. All right, the next thing, RGB lighting. You've asked for it. It's here, kinda. With the new update, you can now assign any RGB color to any light or fader or anything on the application that that has a lighting option. You can select what color you want from the RGB wheel and assign it to that location. They have discussed and they are trying to get the animation RGB, such as the startup sequence in a future update. The last thing I want to go over is the line out fader. Previously, when you were using the Go XLR connected to either a console or a cell phone to take calls, the line out was a line level out. So it was a very hot signal. And for the PS4 and the Xbox or for a phone, that signal was really too loud of a signal and it wouldn't sound great. A way around that was to just buy a volume control wheel and lower the volume. Now with the new update, you can now adjust that level coming out of the GoXLR so you don't have that problem anymore. Great feature. The GoXLR dev team has done a great job with this update. And there is a number of quality of life and bug fixes that were also pushed out as part of this update. If you'd like to see more from the TZ Helicon dev team, 
head on over to the Discord and request any new features in the new features channel. Great place to, to ask for something. Submixing. I really like to see submixing on this device. We hear it a lot. If you want it, go there and ask for it. The more you ask for it, the more they're likely to put it forward and do it. Again, I'm going to link the Discord below in the description. If you have any questions or have any issues with your GoXLR, please come to the Discord. We're happy to help. We can fix your issue usually pretty quickly. Again, thanks for watching today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Turbo David, the GoXLR Guru. Have a great day.